Hello friends, it is February 2019 and this video is late. I had the opportunity to go to Vogue Knitting Live in Manhattan and I became so very ill <laughs> Saturday night and I lost a week of my life so I'm just now getting back into the swing of things and I apologize but my usual end of end of the month stash acquisitions video has now bled into February and it's fine I'm I'm pretty on top of things but there are some videos that are time sensitive and this is one of them so it is coming to you a little bit later than normal but it's okay this is going to be mostly the Vogue Knitting Live 2019 haul video which I didn't intend to have a haul but I have a bed full of haul. It's just right over there. So I'm going to show it all to you. There's going to be some other stash acquisitions mixed in there, including the Patreon giveaway. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a Patreon account, which is, uh, I'll put a link for it underneath this video, but it basically, if you find yourself watching Christy Glass Knits, a lot. I would really appreciate your financial support. There are about 500 plus of you who financially support my channel and it has really made a huge difference in my income because of this um, these donations and also it has helped my ability to travel. I have a trip coming up this month to Madison, Wisconsin and also a trip to Chicago, Illinois in April, both of which will be Patreon sponsored trips and I'm hoping to meet lots of great fiber artists on those trips. Also, I spent a great deal of my time the week of Vogue Knitting Live interviewing people for you and it's I consider it my job. So I've also turned down jobs in my normal life. I'm, I'm a freelancer. I do all kinds of things because this is now a source of income for me and I'm really trying to focus a lot of my energy on this channel. So thank you so much for being a Patreon. Thank you for considering joining. Even at $1 a month, it makes a huge difference. And there are different levels in which you can pledge. And I think you can even make up your own pledge because I've noticed some amounts coming in that I did not set forth. The uh, benefit of becoming a Patreon is I will do some blog posts that are for patron only. I also do one video a month for patrons. The January video is also late, but I'm still working on editing that. And I have giveaways on my channel, most of which go towards patrons. Every once in a while someone gives something away that I will open to everyone, but I do have giveaways that are mostly patron only. So those are the benefits of being here. And I just really appreciate your patronage. So let's start with patron. Uh, this month, January 1, kicked off the Clinton Hill Cashmere Knit Along for my birthday. I'm having a big, big birthday in April, and we cast on on January 1st. I would like to show you the progress of my, my project. Clinton Hill Cashmere is a fairly new cashmere company based out of Clinton Hill in Brooklyn and I did an interview with Rebecca who owns Clinton Hill Cashmere a while back and I fell in love with her yarn. This knit along is using Clinton Hill Cashmere to make a garment or a very large object. I'm sure you can still join in. If you buy, I think it's five skeins or more from Clinton Hill Cashmere, you can get a discount 10% off and this uh, garment is the rug by Junko Okomato. I'm sure I'm saying her name wrong. And it's a free pattern. Many people have been knitting this lately. I'm actually really far along in this. I was trying to savor this knit along and make it last to my birthday, but I can't help it. It's just flying off my needles. So here it is. I'm done with the body already. I'm using the black and the baby pink for my sweater and I'm just on to my first sleeve. I went about three inches longer than the pattern calls for because I wanted a little extra length. I also think it's gonna block out to be a little bit longer, but that is my knit along for the Clinton Hill Cashmere knit along for my birthday. And because of that knit along, I'm giving away Clinton Hill Cashmere to the KG crew this month January. I know you're seeing this in February, but this is the January giveaway for my patrons. I have a ball of the DK in red, the bespoke DK. This is in red. And I also have a ball of the worsted weight in the baby pink for two lucky winners. And 
And Rebecca has a lot of pattern support for her balls of yarn. Uh, she has some good hat patterns and cow patterns, so you can look on there for a pattern. Also, I still did not pick a winner for my La Bien Ami yarn, so I think that this is the month to do it. So I have this bag and these lovely skeins that are only available in her shop. They are a blend of baby alpaca, silk, and cashmere, and each are 437 yards. This is the Flying Knitter colorway. And finally, my fourth prize this month is a Sandy by the Lakeside project bag, with, complete with tassel. And so those are the prizes for the KG Crew. I will pick a winner ASAP. Like, as soon as this goes up, I'll pick one today. So check your messages to see if you are the lucky winner. Okay, so just a few non-Vogue items that are still a stash acquisition. I got this Mighty Wooly Mighty Traveler bag and the Instagram that you can find this is Mighty Wooly. And this, it kind of looks like a bucket hat, <laughs> right? <laughs> it kind of looks like a bucket hat, but actually it's a project bag. So it has this nice support, it's like a bowl, and then it, ha it has this sort of handkerchief top. So you put your project inside here, and look, it's lined. It's so cute, look, it's lined. So you put your project inside here, and then it can support your project when you get to your destination, and you can tie it up. It's USA made, Wisconsin made, it's a small business, it's a woman owned business. Um, she also says thank you for supporting Creativity and Mighty Wooly and there's videos on how to make the most of your project bag at MightyWooly.com. So we need, to, we need to check that out. Isn't that cute? Very innovative. I love when there's a new innovation in the knitting world so that we can really take advantage of that. I also did some shopping at Annie & Co, which is on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. I have plans to interview the manager and the owner of Annie's, I think this month, yeah, maybe even next week. And I went there to get a, some yarn and some bits for my new Dominator costume. And while I was there, I couldn't pass up this skein of yarn. It's that Mad Tosh, like, sparkle yarn again. Isn't it gorgeous? I just was like, yep, yeah, in the in the cart. So I don't know if you can tell, but this has a sparkle running through it. And of course I love this purple. So it's called Vino Forever and I had to have it. You all know my friend Danny, who also goes by Gemma Darling on her podcast on YouTube. She gave me the sweetest gift at Vogue because it's our friend anniversary. We met two Vogues ago. Isn't that crazy? So she got me this sick gift that I have to show you. First of all, look at this project bag. This is by Woodsy and Wild. I'm obsessed with this. It's totally my colors. The unicorns have pink horns and there's pink polka dots. Stop! And it's really spacious there on the bottom. Inside, she gave me Volcano Soap, because we both love Volcano Capri Blue from Anthropology. I've never had it in soap. I only have it in the candle. It smells just like, just like that smell when you walk into Anthropology. She got me these beautiful washi tapes, because I'm a fan, and they're unicorn themed. And a Chelsea Yarns needle gauge, which this is a hardy one. Sometimes they're not very hardy, and I like this one. And finally, these gorgeous, I guess these are called Pro, I'm going to say it like Molly of a homespun house. Progress keepers. She was trying to explain them to me, but I'm like, I got it. I totally got it. So she got me a donut and pre a pretzel, a soft pretzel because they're my favorite. And I, it's like the one baked good that I make and chocolate, I guess. Do I talk about chocolate a lot? Because she's like, because you love chocolate, which is true but I didn't realize I talked about it so much. So thank you so much for that unexpected friend anniversary gift. I love it. What I'm wearing, I'm wearing the Nerd Bird Makery t-shirt. A lot of people have been asking me about it. It says knitting is magic, which it is. Even though I'm trying not to buy pins anymore because I have so many pins, I had, couldn't pass up some of these pins. She also included this sticker, which I am obsessed with. I need to find space on a water bottle for this because I love this sticker. 
And here, she sent me um, another, she said, I redid the one pin that you had. So I think it was this one. So she sent me the new version. And look, this says hooked on a feeling because I'm also a crocheter. This is how I roll because I love roller skating. And this is stay focused, which this is, remember those um, oh, viewfinders from the 80s? It's a viewfinder. So those are my new flares from Nerd Bird Makery. Okay, let's just go into a few gifts from Vogue. So first of all, Bridget brought me these slippers, which off the chain, Bridget. So funny. They're little unicorn slippers. The veteran stitch and bitch gal, she brought me this little tiny care package with some candy. And then look at these socks. They say, shh, I'm counting. Not funny. And then this little tiny army character. And it says, um, please take a soldier home and place him somewhere that will remind you to pray for our men and women serving. So that was really nice of you to be giving that away. I hope it reminded a lot of people that as we're destashing, maybe we can send her some yarn so that she can continue to do her work of teaching veterans how to knit. I'll put a link for her Instagram underneath this video also. This is funny. Little Bird Stitch, she gave me these schwings. It reminds me of that roller skate pin I just got. So you put them on your sneakers with wings. So cute. The Stephen B. Crew gave me this pin, uh, which is Stephen B. Uh, collab with Christopher Straub. It's a little like cross-stitched ornament pin. And these scissors, these cute. They remind me of like those movies with the, I guess it's the Japanese animation. It's kind of like one of those cartoon girls. Um, like, oh, what's that one that my kid, Totoro? Like my, my neighbor Totoro. Brooklyn Boy Knit sent me his pin. There he is on the subway doing his thing. And then I found this in my project bag. I think that Delphina, Sophie, um, am I gonna say your name right? Deschamps? It's French, Deschamps or Deschamps. Delphina, she, I think she popped this in my bag and it's a little car with sheep knitting and balls of wool. Isn't that cute? I just found that. I think she popped that in my bag. I don't remember her giving that to me, but it was all a blur, that subway storm. <laughs> Speaking of the subway storm, I had a quick chat with the gal, I think, okay, let me get this right. I think she was behind the Perth Yarn Festival and she gave me these. This is from Mothy and the Squid. Zombie Hawk Moth. Isn't that beautiful? I got to pick which one I, I chose. I chose this one. This little mini. And this one is by Dye Candy. This is called Stowaway. So she popped those into my project bag also while we were on the subway storm. I had a few more little items gifted to me. So my friend Alyssa made this Sheep Shrinky Dink necklace, okay? How funny is this? I never did shrinky dinks when I was a kid, but she has figured out, I don't know how, she figured this out. It's a little sheep shrinky dink with a little bow around her neck. You see that? On a chain. And then the Mochi Mochi World lady, Anna, who was doing the knitted ball pit, which was a great success, she knit a little Christy glass. And I've been trying to get, I have a chain for this too, but I haven't gotten the chain, anyway. I, I wanna put this on a chain also. And I asked her to gift me some of her stickers because I didn't have my wallet at the time. So she gifted me some of her little mochi mochi stickers, the little hedgehog and the naked gnome and the dress gnome. Aren't those cute? Amy of La Bayanime, she gave me this little shield pin. And also Felicia of String Thing Studio gave me her pin. This is blowing out a lot. But it says String Thing Studio, but the coolest part is that the back is red. So she was saying like Louboutin shoes, you know, that have the red sole. As I was walking about, String handed me this little project bag and some pink stitch markers. So thank you, String, for my little gifties. I did an interview with Gina of Skank Cocaine who sold her yarn shop and is now dyeing yarn in her dye studio that she set up. And she gifted me two skeins of yarn. This one, she was saying, 
has 30 different colors in it and every time she makes it, it just sells out in an instant. And she was describing her dye technique on our interview. So she, you can see that later when it comes out, but it's called the special and it's 437 yards. So this may be going in the patron giveaway pile because I know this is a hot item. She also gifted me a skein called the artist's palette. So I think she uses the same amount of colors, but she just gives it a different treatment. I think it's more speckly. And so she gifted me this one as well. In case you didn't know that Gina was now dyeing yarn, I wanted to make sure that I feature that here as part of my stash acquisitions. I did an interview with Sandy by the Lakeside who has already gifted me two project bags, one of which I'm giving away this month, but gifted me the special Vogue one and I'm gonna have a hard time parting with this one. I don't think I'll be able to because I really love it. Look at this fabric. It's like chambray, but it has little neon flecks, which I'm not sure if you can pick up on it, but the bottom is like a silver metallic. And then this has little flecks of neon yellow and pink. She's also using every last bit of her fabric and leather, and she's made these little scissor covers out of leather. So you can put them on the tip of your scissors. Whenever I throw my scissors in my project bag, I'm like, okay, I hope that works out. Now I can cover them with these leather covers. Sandy, you're so smart. I'm standing in the Stephen B booth, minding my own business, and Kelsey of Primrose, who's right next to Stephen B, she pops her head around the corner and says, come here, I gotta I got talk to you. And she hands me this bundle of goodness. I cannot wait to show you. So first of all, her twill and print Primrose pin. And some, this does something, it like, Glows in the dark or something? Something happens with this pen. Can't remember now. But I had it on the schedule to interview Tiffany of Twill and Print, and I could not get out of bed on the day I needed to do it. So we're gonna have to reschedule that. But oh, I really wanted her on the channel. So she will be one day, just not not as soon as I would like. Kelsey of Primrose Yarn Company commissioned several designers to design special items for Vogue 2019. Her booth had all of these giant posters with the designer or a different model and the item and then all the yarn you needed for the project underneath it. So it was a really epic booth to visit. I imagine she still has plenty of yarn on her website if you'd like to take advantage of that and you didn't have a chance to go to Vogue. But one of the designers of course was my favorite, Caitlin of Boyland Knitworks and she designed a DK weight sweater called Sturgill. Is that how you say it? Who knows? So Kelsey picked out yarn for me for that sweater. She did that. So first she handed me this pink hazel. I think this might be the pink hazel primrose bag because I know that she'd made a special one. Okay, this amazing epic project bag, which we all know pink hazel makes the best bags. There's a zipper pocket inside here with a different fabric lining. It's so epic. So this is the bag. And inside was all the yarn to make this sweater. So the body is going to be Dreamhouse. I'm dying. I'm dying over this. The body is going to be Dreamhouse, which is like pink and orange together. The color work is going to be these three Marrakesh, Fifth Avenue, and All of the Lights. So basically, I'm obsessed with this yarn. I knit my Sunset Highway in Primrose Yarn, and I have all of these projects I need to finish, but of course, I just want to cast this on. So thank you so much for that epic, epic, epic gift. It was the perfect gift. Kelsey, thank you so much. Those of you who have been to many fiber festivals know about Loop, and Loop, you can picture this, has these giant, like art skeins of yarn. And I always remember them as having the little tiny trolls in the yarn, <laughs> like, like literal little trolls. And I always look at it and think, oh, it's so beautiful, what will I do with it? And then she also has a lot of art bats, I think they're called, so you can spin with these bats. But she has a new yarn that's much more accessible to the average knitter who can't think abstractly, like with her amazing art things that she has. 
And so I was immediately drawn in and I actually didn't see it, but someone on the floor was showing, showing it to me and I just made a beeline to go over and check it out. So I picked up some skeins and she ended up gifting me two of them, which was very sweet of her. She did not need to do that, but um, I bought some more. So this is the worsted weight. It's called Wait For It. That's the color. It's 220 yards and it's extra fine merino. It says to hand wash it cold. So I don't know if, I don't think it's super wash. It doesn't really feel super wash, but it's got this little texture to it with the blue. And then this one is called Girl Crush. It's the same base, just with the pinks. Can you see subtly how there's two different pinks twisted in there? So this is the worst of weight, and she had a variety of colors, but I just picked two up because I couldn't decide and I only had like two seconds. And then she had this whole section called Yin Yang, and the yarns are in versions of each other. So for example, these two are the same colors, but just with different uh, parts, the light pink and the dark pink. Can you see that? So she gifted these two to me, which was so nice of her, and I tried to convince her to be on the channel. She says she's shy, but I said, just think about it. So this one's called Makeup, and this one's called Kiss. And I think what I have gathered from watching other Vogue Knitting Live hauls is they usually have names that go together also when they're the inversion of each other. And this is 400 yards also of fingering weight, 100% extra fine merino. So these will be really fun to play with. And then I had to pick up this one too, which is called Rise. So I'm wondering if its inversion is called Shine. Just gonna guess, Rise and Shine. So it says inverted colorway yarn. Isn't that fun? So this is from Loop, Yin Yang. My one impulse purchase I saw just walking by, and I think the shop was called Park Avenue, and they are a local yarn shop in Houston, Texas that came all the way to Vogue, and it was a mother-daughter team, and they have their own yarn called Olive Yarn Dye Company, and it says on this label, hand dyed in Texas, and this particular yarn combo was just sitting out on the table. I think it was specially dyed for Vogue, and I picked this up. So it's called City Lights and Taxi Cabs Vogue Knitting Live New York 2019 Sock Set. Isn't it pretty? It comes with a little apple stitch marker. So I thought that was a really sweet little souvenir that came from Houston. And then I had to pick up a craft badge. I don't think I have this one. Um, but it's like a sock. I've knit a sock, so I've earned a badge. So that's my little sort of more souvenir -y purchase. I ended up interviewing the dyer behind Nutmeg Fibers and I loved her story and loved talking to her so much and I went to the booth and fell in love with actually all the yarn, but this one in particular really spoke to me. So this is the Retreat base. It's the DK Heavy Fingering Weight Yarn, 50-50 Merino and Alpaca. It has a slight loft and a thick, thin texture that reminds one of hand spun fiber. So this is 350 yards and it's naturally dyed. It's called Light Lac, Light Lac. And so I got four skeins. So I think that's enough to make a DK weight sweater. I hope it is. I was in a, a sinus infection fog, but I was trying to do the math. And I just, I love the way this is dyed. I feel like not only is it thick thin, but it also has some sort of lighter, darker moments happening. It's kind of like a tonal. It really does feel like a beautiful homemade hand dyed skein of yarn. So I'm really excited about, about that because that's new to me. And I couldn't help it. I just was drawn to the pink. It's just who I am. So really happy about this discovery at Vogue. I just wanted to leave you with one last item here. If you watched the subway storm, I wasn't in the subway storm that much. I was the one doing the videoing, but I did have my project on the subway. I ended up handing it off to someone who had forgotten his one needle and he really wanted to knit and experience the sitting on the subway knitting thing. But um, this is the project bag that I was using. So if you thought this was a fun project bag, it's really good for on the go. It's lined with polka dots. 
speaking of pink, and it's commissioned by Stitch and Hustle. So my friend Michelle, and she has a limited run. I think there might be 20 left. So I wanted to let you know, I will put a link underneath this video if you want to pick up your Christy Glass on the go bag by Michelle of Stitch and Hustle. That is available on her website. And, um, and she might have a few more Dominator pins. So I sold out, but she has maybe like maybe 10 more Dominator pins if you want to throw a pin in the bag too. I just wanted to let you know about that. And that's it for my stash acquisitions. If you're one of my patrons, thank you so much and look for a message from me soon. If you're in the KG crew, I will be choosing four winners. And I also need to choose a winner for, oh. I couldn't show this during my guide video because I didn't have them in my hands. And unfortunately it was raining cats and dogs when I picked these up. So this label got a little rain on it. Sad. But you can see this gorgeous fuse fiber live from New York skein that I need to give away. I'm going to choose someone from the guide comments and this knitted wit skein as well, which apparently was dyed. The inspiration for the dye was Rachel's hair. Rachel from Woolen, her hair kind of looked like this. Um, I guess it was last spring. So her hair was the inspiration behind this, <laughs> this colorway, which is called Shut the Fuck Up Cakes. Uh, by Knitted Wit. So these two are going to be given away also from one of the comments on the Guide to Vogue Knitting Live that I put out a couple weeks ago, but I have them in the flesh, so I wanted to show them to you because look at how gorgeous they are. That's it. Thank you so much, as always, for checking into Christy Glass Knits. I'm so sorry you had to wait for this one. I am a one-woman show, and when the woman goes down in the bed for a week, there will be delays, just like your, just like your subway trains and and airplanes. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support and I will see you next time on Christy Glass Knits. Bye.